everybody, John here from TechTV101.com and here is our review of the Motorola Zoom 2, the successor to the previously launched Motorola Zoom. So as usual with all the reviews, I'm going to start with an actual rundown of the phone. So to start, you can tell actually straight away that it's quite a nice aspect ratio screen wise. You're looking maybe at a 16 by 9 or a wide screen display and on the front here then we've got a little um, 1.3 megapixel camera for your video chats. And just down here on the bottom, you might be able to see this little microphone as well for your little video chats as well. Um, okay, so on the top of the phone, you got your 3.5, your headphone jack, um, little I/O port actually, so you can control some devices with infrared, which is quite cool. On the left hand side, we have nothing there, and then on the right, then we've got our, obviously our lock and unlock button, power on, power off. We've got a volume rocker then. On the bottom of the phone, you have got your little port here to pop in your micro. Uh, oh no, your SIM. So your micro SD card and then some of the, the recently launched ones that you can uh, pop in little uh, SIM cards as well, micro SIM cards or SIM cards. And then we've also got then the U micro USB and the micro HDMI for TV out and for charging the device. And finally then we go on to the back of the device, you've got your two stereo speakers which is a nice little feature. You've got your uh, 5 megapixel camera with also a little flash which does the HD video as it says there. So we just unlock the device now. So. It's running Android 3.2.2 and I've been looking for some information online with the whole ice cream sandwich update for the device but surprisingly the Zoom, it's, old, it's older brother or it's old, that came out before this device has got ice cream sandwich already but this is said, or rumour has it that this device won't be getting it, the Zoom 2 will not be getting it until come July or the third quarter of this year which is quite surprising to see that an older device get it before the newly launched was such as this. Um, it is a it's it, it's it's nice and fast in the hand. It's got a one point it's a one point two uh, gigahertz dual core processor. It's got the um, Cortex processor as well. Um, it's yeah, I, I think it's it's good. I've I've got Grand Theft Auto Four on here, so I'll just quickly show you some of that if I can load it up quick enough. Just turn up the volume as well. Trying to keep the camera out of the reflection. It is a bit jumpy though, and I'm not sure exactly if it's the, the device or if it's this version of the game. But we just have a quick look. So we just load that up. Let's go ahead and skip that. It is 1280 by 800 resolution, so you've got 1280 by 800, and so you've got a pixel density, which seems to be the hot topic of uh, nowadays, of about 149, and that's in comparison then to the newly released iPad. I'm going to turn that down. The newly released iPad um, that has a density of 263 on this 9.7 inch screen, so it's extremely, you know, a lot more. Uh, Pixel for its punch, it's you know, the, the, but the, I still feel the picture quality on this is more than you know usable. And but as you can see, you might see some of the stuff there on the device. But as I said, it may be software issues with the game, or it may be the device hasn't been finely tuned, or the game, the game itself hasn't been finely tuned for this specific device. But still easily playable. So that's enough of that. We'll back out of this. Go back to the home. You've obviously got your usual. Google kind of applications, your Gmail and then your music, I've got synced up to my uh, my Gmail account, Angry Birds, fill your pains, whatever you want, you can tap to hold, much like the newly released Android uh, 4.0 and add which way, whichever widgets you do want to put on and then you select your pains as well. So we'll just go in and do some mobile browsing here as well, so we'll jump onto the Tech TV page and as you can see it's quite smooth as well, doesn't seem to have many issues, zoom in, quite responsive. Landscape, oh, we go this way, sorry. Page obviously automatically readjusts then. So, again, a nice user experience with the mobile browser. So, you've got your gaming and your mobile browsing, as I said, with the dual core processor. Hopefully, should be getting Android 4.0 in the summertime. Um, so, yeah, it does uh, the 720p video on the back, as I said, the HD video, dual core processor. Corning Gorilla Glass and allegedly splash resistant as well, whichever, whatever, if you ever 
quite the cumbersome one that you spill drinks all over it, but um, yeah, nice device all around actually. It's one of the nicer of the Android devices I've, I've played with, and it'll be interesting to see when it finally does get Android 4.0. Thanks for watching, guys.